Four days a week, all summer long, I'm in Kennecott. I look at the glacier every single day. So it's hard to see sometimes the daily changing. It's like seeing it in your children or in your garden or whatever, but if you go away for a period of time and then you look again, you go, oh wow, that's fantastic. Look at that, that's a big change. The people in this community are, uh, for the most part, residents here for a long time. They have a long history with the place and with the glacier, and they've been able to watch in their own ways the changes in the glacier in ways that in, in, in many cases are a lot more meaningful than, than me putting an outline of a glacier on a map. When we wanted to celebrate a birthday, we'd head out from our house right over here and go down towards the glacier and sit at the edge of the glacier. And right there, there's a breeze constant because the cold air is cooling, flowing downstream, and there's no mosquitoes. As my kids have grown up, I have two now, and we, every June 16th, around that time, we walk down to the glacier. It's notably further. We have a can from the mining days, a 55-gallon barrel that had been cut off. When we first found it, it was underneath an arch of ice, and we, and we noted it, and every time we go down there, we put some rocks in it so it doesn't disappear. Now the glacier is quite a ways away from it, so every year we, we kind of go down to that 55-gallon barrel and we stand around it and the kids are growing up and the glacier is getting farther and farther away and shorter and shorter. And my kids would say, we have to go so far now to go to the birthday spot. And it's really not that far as the crow flies, but the glacier is, is just so different from that arch over that barrel to being just quite a ways away, maybe half a mile away.